quick tour of the cabaret for everyone reading my thread, watching my videos. In front here we've got the spotlight, the anchor, the anchor hatch, where all the chain and everything goes. Okay. Hatches to the downstairs, radar arch over there. Okay, I have the sun pads in so the sun doesn't kill them if you leave them out there all the time, it um, wrecks them. The teak table that I've gotten recently, love that thing, folds up, gets out of the way, this area then becomes a dance floor, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, lots of people fit in here. There's the helm. Um, and there you go, there's all your switches, VHF. All the different equipment, plotters, gauges, all the stuff you need. Your little cockpit stereo here. Okay. Got a little wet bar right here. Comes in handy a lot of the time. Pulled it up. And one of my lights fell off. <laughs> okay. Going this sun pad here extends. The girls love that one. That's sunny and Curtains on up, just push a button, and out she goes. They love sun tanning back there. So it's a really big cockpit, um, really comfortable cockpit. Fit a lot of people. Barbecue goes in a rod holder out there. Um, okay, here's the control for the hydraulic platform. Um, you just push down or up and it puts it underwater. You can retrieve the tender or launch the tender in under a minute. And here is the tender. The famous jet I've been doing all those recent videos on, running around. Great little thing. 10 foot 6 jet propulsion. Um, easily do around 80 k's I'd say at least. Probably more. Really fast. Really fun get one of these if you can. That platform there, it's hydraulic, like I said earlier. Okay, down we go. Off with the shoes. Um, you'll notice the floor looks kind of yucky. That's just the protector. The carpet underneath is pristine. Um, all the stains and everything you see on the protector there is, well, they call me the vomitos on the thread from all the people throwing up in here and spilling things. It was bright white when I got here. This is the salon, really comfortable, easily fit quite a few people. You got TV right here, you can sit back and watch. Um, the galley over there, full size fridge. Over here we've got our new tone food center, we got the blender attachment here. Or you can put um, food processor, any number of things in there. And here is your microwave convection oven. Cooks just as good as an oven, actually. Um, coffee maker. And this is all storage space, whatnot. And there's your sink. Turn the tap on there a few times and wet everything. Okay, that's your stove. Three burner. Um, and here is the garbage compactor. I'm having a problem fixing it now. Nothing ever works all the time on these things. And here I keep, you know, booze, that sort of stuff. Up in there is glasses. Here are your control panels. Uh, this is where you would turn everything off and on from. All your different systems. These are the two different master controls. Um, showing you how many bolts coming in and all that nonsense. Um, okay, onwards. This is the master bedroom. The one I spend most of my time in. Love it. Super comfy, especially just for one person like me. Got my own TV over there. Got a skylight up here that opens that hatch. You can let fresh air in and out. Another one there. I just wish there was another one on the other wall there. So, you know, you could have more light in here in the daytime. It tends to get a little dark. But this is her. Um, this bed down here folds up from here. 
folds up and you've got all storage space underneath there. Um, under here is your sump where all the sinks drain into. Um, intercom, one in each bedroom, uh, one in the salon, one at the helm. You can call each other throughout the boat. Okay, master head. There we go. Pretty big for about this size. Really comfortable little bench you can sit on. Um, everything you need. A couple cabinets, toilets, big and comfortable head. A man's throne, right? Okay, onwards. Let's go up here. Um, that sleep that over there is a sleeper. It comes out when you push a button over here. Out it comes. Now you got a sleeper for two more people. You got another queen. It's great. It allows you to bring another couple with you or whatever. So there's plenty of room. Um, again, TV, really comfortable. Big spacious salon. Got a hatch over here. You can open up. A couple portholes there. Big storage cabinet here. And here is the VIP head. Not quite as big as the master, but still plenty of room. Ah, my ratty jeans that I got uh, wet cleaning today. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. And here you go. Full on view, the size of it. Layout. Okay, onwards up to the VIP berth. Over here we go. Got plenty of portholes, which makes it nice to stay up here. Mirrors, big queen size bed, and again, your own TV and climate control. On um, this boat, every room has its independent air conditioner and climate control. So if one person wants to be colder than the other or warmer, they can adjust it for their room. Three different units, one for each room of the boat. But love the portholes, love to sit up here when I'm out on the hook or at anchor because you can actually see out. And again, another hatch you can open up and if you want um, to sleep in, you close it and it keeps it nice and dark once you close that in the curtains. Okay, on to the engine room. Again, this thing goes up the same way it went down by button. You push the button and if I can find it and up she goes. So real simple to operate and really super handy. Gives you another bed for people. Um, in here is the stereo, surround sound system, and an old VHS. <laughs> Funny, eh? Okay, so that's a Bose system. You see the little cube speakers. The sound is quite amazing. Here we go. Under this step over here is the vacuum system. You just fold it up, you grab the vacuum cord out, and there are ports in each room that you plug in and you've got a, a ship-wide vacuuming system. Um, okay, so let's go into the engine room. Take a peek at that. Let me put the sun pad in, because can't get down there with it down. Okay. Down we go. There we go. Ah, my barbecue. Okay, so we've got two great big Detroit Diesel 8V92 TAs in here. Huge, the size of a small car each. A little cramped in this engine room. So we got three banks of um, two big 24 volt in series, two 12 volt, big 12 volts. Two. Here's one of the banks. And over there is bank number two, desalinator, Atlas power system where you can convert the power anywhere in the world um, to match the boat's power so you can plug in anywhere, generator, uh, Westerbecky 12.5 kilowatt, another part of the Atlas, another bank of batteries, cable master, and there's the third bank of batteries miscellaneous pumps. Uh, there's my swim platform lift. And here's the engines from this view. I'll get you great big engines. It was quite um, scary when I first came down here. I was like, geez, how am I going to handle something like this? I had no experience with anything like this and they're big and daunting. So there you have it, friends. There's a tour of the Le Cabaret. Um, on the outside in the engine room vents, there's blue glowing lids, there's underwater LED. She's just about optioned with 
everything you can imagine. There's not much more I can put on her. There's my little camera, infrared camera for seeing what's going on in the cockpit when I'm downstairs. I have a tablet down there where I can see what everyone's up to. Uh, you never know, especially with some of the people I've hung out with. Um, up here is the captain's chair. And then you've got all your little toys. You've got a little vent here. Okay, it lets the air in and out. Um, my compass is a little crooked. Bow thruster. Systems monitor. And there you have it. Le Cabaret.